In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector version 17, we're going to show you a new feature that allows you to take different projects that you've worked on and combine them into a master project at the end. It's a great way to take a complex subject and use different building blocks by making each one an individual project that you combine with this nesting tool. Let me show you how to use that. We have a new untitled project here, and if I were to save it, I would call it something like master and then connect it with the name of the project. And I'm going to add to that some other projects I've already done, three in particular. So I click on the media content and click on the my projects. You notice here I have a board one, board two, and board three. So I'm going to take board one and drag and drop it down. You notice what I have now. I have the new untitled project, which is my master. And then I have another tab here called board one. I can go ahead and play on it, play it. And I have my titles coming up. I have the background. So this is a team building strategy. So let's assume I've finished that project. We'll stop it. And now I want to, to add another one I've worked on called Board 2. I'll take and drag that down next to it. And likewise, I can play that. And this basically says that one of the things to build your team is to schedule breaks for your team members. Let's take board three and drag that down. And now I'll play this one. And this is where the, the guideline is use remote access with your team members when they're not available directly. So I have each of these and notice as I drop them, I get a tab for each one. There's some things that you can do with it as well. If I click on the tab that says Board 1, it will t take me to a screen that looks like Board 1 is my only project. And I can actually go here and change some things. I'm going to double click on the picture. And if I wanted to, I could change some things about it like I'm in a normal project. I'll cancel out of that. But when I click on there, I also see I have my text below the picture. And I can go to the title room and I can edit that text. Maybe I misspelled this and the T should be a D. I'll click on OK. And another thing I can do, for example, is if I go back to my media content room, this section has no music. And so if I want to do that, I'll take this Fresh Ideas, drag that down into an audio track, and now I have music for part of the first clip. So if I go back to my master, New Untitled Project, when I look into the tracks below, what am I going to see? I do not see the changes, because they do not appear on this track unless I put them uh, on this tab. But if I play it, I had no music on that segment before. Now if I play, I have music. Now this does not change the original file. If I want to change it and add music inside that file, I have to load it separately and edit it separately. But it will change things on the master. Likewise, the original file still has the original spelling of Artevin Associates with a T rather than the letter D. Another thing to note is if I, uh, I can double click on it or click on board one to get to that tab, what happens if I shorten it? Now, if I look at the duration, it's 26 seconds and 8 frames. Let's cut it down to... 18 seconds and 6 frames. I go back to my new untitled project, which happens to be my master. And if I look here, the, the duration of it has not changed at all. 
So if I want to change the duration of it, the best place to do it is on my master file. Again, it will not change the original. But if I wanted to match it, I would have to go back. I could drag back to 1806 and move the clips. And now it will play. And it will be shorter. But if you want to build a large project one segment at a time and have the opportunity to edit the final version and tweak it, you can use the nesting option in PowerDirector 17 to do exactly that. But remember, any changes that you make will not be reflected in the original files. And so if you ever want to work with them again in a different context, the best thing to do is to clean them up before you bring them in. But if I were to produce this entire project, I would have board one, board two, and board three all here to edit and modify any way I want. So that gives me the option of combining small components of multiple projects into a master project as I build my video.